Hello everyone, this is GTA Failure, and welcome to my YouTube tutorial series on GTA 3. There are already a ton of other YouTube videos teaching you how to play GTA 3, so why am I making this brand new series in 2022? Well, a couple of reasons. Mainly has to do with uh, my slant in playing GTA 3, and I think it's a little bit different than the other videos that I found up on YouTube. So first of all, this is going to be a video tutorial series to get you to complete GTA 3 100%. Um, and that means doing all of the 48 story missions and the 17 payphone missions and the four off-road vehicle missions and the four RC vehicle missions and the three import export lists plus 20 rampages, 20 unique jumps, all 100 hidden packages, as well as the longest missions, taxi, vigilante, firefighter, and then the dreaded paramedic mission. Um, and, uh, my focus here is on playing the game in a way that uh, is efficient. And so I tried to come up with a route that was uh, efficient, getting me all the way through the game from start to 100% completed. So for example, you won't see me going through and collecting all 100 packages in one video. I collect the hidden packages as they are convenient when they're near me on the route that I've come up with here. Uh, also, I tried to find strategies that give me a balance between safety and being fast. Uh, and often those two things do not go hand in hand. This game is mercilessly difficult. I tended to prioritize safe strategies over strategies that were maybe a little bit faster, but also riskier. Uh, and then the other big difference uh, here for me in my video series is that uh, I play the game glitch free. Um, and so you won't see me duplicating missions. You won't see me insta passing firefighter. You won't see me um, forcing the criminals and vigilante out of their car by using a glitch. I'm not going to super jump. I'm not even going to despawn traffic when I'm in a car by changing cameras. Um, I will flick my camera around sometimes when I'm on foot uh, if I wanted to uh, kind of re-roll the dice on getting cars to show up. Um, I don't feel like that's uh, kind of glitching in the same way as the other ones that I won't be doing uh, because I think that moving the camera around when you're on foot is a natural part of gameplay and the uh, glitches that I described that I won't be doing uh, feel kind of unnatural to me. Um, this route is based on one from R3 D-Line R6, and you can find their, um, their video of this game in the description of this video, and you can also find a link to their channel. They've got lots of good stuff there. Um, and, uh, and I spent a lot of time tweaking their route to try to make this route as efficient as possible. Um, and, uh, and so my personal best playing through this game 100% is uh, just a hair faster than nine hours. Uh, for the record, the world record in this game as of the recording of this video is something like four hours, 17 minutes. Uh, in my defense, uh, that person uses lots of glitches to skip things that I'll spend time doing. And also that person is far more talented at this game than me. Um, so there are loads of links in the description. Check them all out. Uh, but the one I want to point to is the quick save link. Um, typically in GTA 3, you can only save when you're near a safe house like this one right here by my garage. Um, and, uh, and so I think it's much more efficient to play the game using the, um, uh, the program, the quick save program, which will allow you to save anywhere as long as you're not on a mission or in a vehicle. Um, it's uh, not allowed if you're intending to submit your, uh, your record on speedrun.com, but it's great for when you're learning the game uh, or you just want to practice some of these missions. And like I said, some of the missions are just brutally difficult. So being able to save right by the starting marker for a tough mission uh, can give you an opportunity to practice efficiently. So I think that's about all I have to say for now. Uh, go ahead and check out the video series, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.